Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I want to talk a bit about how I think classes in Battlefield should evolve or rather return to form. I think we can all agree that specialists just missed the mark and that even now with the class system they are still quite unbalanced and sometimes even frustrating to play against. So just remove them and give us back our normal classes in the next Battlefield. Now what I'm about to say might ruffle some feathers but I actually want the next Battlefield to have 5 classes instead of Four. And now, before you all get mad at me, please hear me out first. So, traditionally, Battlefield classes were either Assault, functioning as a medic like in Battlefield 4, the Engineer for vehicles, the Support for, well, Support, and the Recon as a Sniper. In Battlefield 1 and 5, they switched it up a bit and now the Assault had to deal with pushing and also vehicle. Medic was now its own dedicated class and the same goes for support and re- And now lastly in Battlefield 2042 we have the sword as a flanker slash pusher, the engineer for vehicles, the recon as a recon, this class doesn't change and now the support needs to fulfill the role of also being the medic while also needing to support the team with ammunition or fortifications. As you can see all the Battlefield games have a problem where one class always needs to fulfill two Two different roles. So to fix this, why not simply make the game consist of the Recon class, Support, Medic, Engineer and Assault. Not only would this give the player base more options, but it would also reduce the frustration of people picking the Assault class and then only farming kills instead of also either playing Medic or fulfilling their job as an Engineer with a different name. Since the problem in older Battlefield titles was that, especially in Battlefield 4 I remember, a lot of people picked the Assault class just to run around, farm kills and heal themselves back up after a gunfight while the teammates dying around them they didn't really pay any attention to them and this was quite frustrating for all the other players in the lobby. So of course the extra assault class would need to be properly balanced to fulfill its task because if they don't people just pick the medic for example for the ability to self heal and we have the same problem again where medics don't revive because they only play the class for the self heal. I think you can actually see this quite good in Battlefield 2042 since a lot of people pick Falk just because she can self heal with the stim but also in Battlefield 5 you had the problem where the SMGs that the medic had were so strong that it was often most useful as a medic to just put in the type 2A and farm the enemy team instead of really going around reviving your teammates helping them and stuff. So now that you guys know why I want the assault class added as the fifth class let me tell you how I would balance it to make it a clear choice for people that want to play aggressive and flank the enemy. Since we won't be seeing our team when we pick the assault we need to be self-sufficient when it comes to healing and ammo. As for ammo since size probably keeps the system where when you kill an enemy they drop a pouch with some ammo for your gun like the scavenger perk from call of duty maybe just give the class one or two extra magazines to spawn in with. You know what? Actually give all classes a baseline of 5 extra magazines at least for normal guns like SMGs and ARs because I think the 3 extra max you get currently when you spawn in with a class on your gun it's just too little and even in real life like most plate carriers let you use at least 5 magazines if I'm not mistaken. Now as for your health sustain simply make the same passive where you start regenerating HP the moment you get a kill the class perk and speed the healing up ever so slightly like the quick fix perk from Call of Duty. This would give you the sustain necessary to survive on a flank if you are a good player but also not giving free sustain just for existing like the medic class does with its heal packs that can self heal. Of course if you are not confident in your skill they could also add stims to the loadout but then you should need to make a choice between either more sustain through stims or a higher kill potential through stuff like C5. Not like it is currently where you can just pick Zane and get a grenade launcher, C5, stims and instant and HP regen on kill. That's just busted in my opinion. And lastly, I shortly want to touch on weapon restrictions. What I definitely don't want to see in the next Battlefield game is my medic sitting on a hill and spawn with a sniper and an ammo bot. So restrict bolt action sniper rifles to the Recon class please. Some people also want LMGs locked to the support but I personally don't really care about that. They can lock them or they don't. It doesn't really matter. As for the rest of the guns, definitely don't lock them to a specific class. Otherwise we have the same 
problem again where people pick a class based on its guns and not because they want to fulfill a specific role on the battlefield. Let's just say we give engineers PDWs like it was in Battlefield 4 and one or two PDWs are super broken and so you have your whole team picking the engineer class, running around, running and gunning with PDWs but every time there is a tank they feel like they don't need to take care of it because they rather shoot at the infantry. So we don't want this, that's why I say we should give every other weapon to every class except for bolt action sniper rifles. But that's basically all I wanted to say about how I think battlefield classes should evolve for the next game. And now I would love to hear from you guys. Do you agree with my take on the class system or do you disagree? Just let me know down in the comments below. And by the way, if you're still watching, first of all, thank you. But I'm currently running out of ideas for new battlefield videos. So if you have any topics you'd like me to talk about, please also let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, it's going to be quite hard making the videos I currently do until the new season launches. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more Battlefield content in the future. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you in the next one.